our next experiment is called Newton's disc. So we are going to make Newton's disc. For this experiment, you will need an old CD, which is not in use, a sheet of paper, a permanent marker, some paints of different colors, preferably the rainbow colors, and you will need a pair of scissors. So, are you ready? Let us begin. I will first begin by placing the CD over the sheet of paper and drawing its outline. So now I am going to cut out this outline. So my paper is now ready. So the CD outline is now ready. The next step is to stick this over the CD. So you can use glue for this. So I used glue to stick the paper onto the CD. The next step is to divide it into quadrants. So since I have six colors here, I'm dividing it into six different quadrants. You can use how many ever colors you like. So I'm dividing it into more number of quadrants because I plan to use more colors. So now the next step is to paint each of these sections into one one color. So now if you see I have painted each of those segments in different colors. The next step is to cut a piece of the wool. So in order for it to be strong, I am cutting two pieces. That is one piece, I am folding it so that it is strong. And now I have to put this into the hole in the CD and hold it. The next step is to Twist it is very fast and then pull it. So what color can you see when it is turning fast? So now if you notice when it is stationary, you can see all the eight colors. Now when I twist it, And I pull it. What can you see? For a second, you can see only white. I'll show you once again. So, did you see the white color? So, why is this? We all know white light consists of the seven rainbow colors so when these colors are moved fast all we can see is 
the white color that they are made of. So, white light consists of the seven rainbow colors. So, this is what we learned from Newton's disk.